Welcome back to Build a Nation Silesia, where we answer the question, if Silesia was its own nation, just how good would they be at football? Well, and to answer the previous question, uh, Silesia would be pretty damn good because we've qualified for the Euros in our first ever attempt. After beating Finland and San Marino, we finished second in our group on 19 points, just behind Denmark. Finland were... My dogs are chasing squirrels outside. Uh, Finland were... Um... They were in first place at game eight and they dropped down to fifth. So that just goes to show just how tight this group was. But hey, Celestia qualified and a huge barometer for success in this build a nation is how well the national team does. So that's a pretty good start. Um, we can take a look at some of the other groups because there's been some interesting qualification things going on. Um, you might notice one right away in Group A. Um, Spain finished fourth in their group. Four wins, four losses. They have made it into the playoffs, so they still have a possibility of qualifying. But they lost three of their last four games in Group A, so Spain is not confirmed for the Euros, so that's pretty shocking. And then we can go down France, Netherlands qualify. What's this? Well, it truly is a blessed save because so far Spain and England are struggling internationally. England didn't qualify out of their group directly. They have made the playoffs, so they will be playing Iceland. But they lost to Ukraine at home in Wembley, 90,000 people watching that game. They lost. They lost to Italy twice. They did beat Ukraine, but it looks like because they gave Ukraine two away goals and they only scored one away goal, they lost on head-to-head. -head. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Results between teams. Yeah, because they definitely won in goal difference. So it must be that head-to-head. -head. So, yeah, Ukraine not qualified for the Euros. But, like we said, truly a blessed save because both Spain and England struggling, surely they'll make it through the playoffs, right? Surely. Well, not so fast because I'm pretty sure they'll end up playing each other in the play-in game if they get through Iceland and Wales. So it looks like one of England or Spain is not making the Euros. So truly, truly a blessed save. Um, we can go back hey, and look through some of the other groups. Nothing, other, uh, nothing else that was too surprising. Croatia and Turkey get through. Czechia and Poland, I'm happy to see they both got through so we didn't weaken Poland or Czechia too much by creating Celestia because they both directly qualified. Belgium and Austria get ahead of Sweden and qualify. Serbia and Hungary in above Bulgaria. I don't know about you guys, but Bulgaria always does really well in my saves, so so they haven't quite made it in, though. Um, our group, we know all about Slovenia, Northern Ireland, Finland. It was very close. Northern Ireland is the only team that's in the playoff, though. Switzerland and Kosovo get in ahead of Israel and Romania. And Portugal and Bosnia and Herzegovina get in ahead of Slovakia and Iceland. And we can look again at those playoffs. England, Iceland, Spain, Wales, Sweden, Slovakia, Ireland, Bulgaria, Northern Ireland, Latvia, and Estonia, Moldova. So it looks like one of these four teams is going to get in. Definitely the weakest group of four. One of these four, and I just love it, England or Spain. One of those two teams not making it. So, so that's the national team. We um, have qualified. The draw isn't until like after the playoffs are done, which is around March, April time frame. So we've set up a couple, um, 
you know, friendly matches and hey, why the heck not? Let's go ahead and play Poland and Czechia, our two rivals. And the first time this save, both at home. This one in Vikovica and this one in Schlossky. So yeah, invite the old uh, the old makeup of our nation to go uh, play a little warm-up contest for the Euros since all of us qualified. So that's the national team. For Schleza, though, we're sitting here top of the table, game in hand. One of our games has been postponed. Last time we left off, we beat Miege in the FA Cup. We're back for the FA Cup today. We lost our following game against a record BB. Then we beat some kind of low-down teams, Dolny Benazov 3-1 and Stadion Hortsov 2-0. Before beating Hu Xin, who's a pretty good team in the second division. Let's see if they're up here. Record BB fourth, Hu Xin fifth. And we had a game postponed, this one against Friedek Mistek, which will be the last game before the winter break. But today, we play KGHM Zagwebia Lubin, who is in second place in the Premier League. They've got this guy, Tomasz Pienko, who's got nine goals. He's played for the national team a couple times for me. Uh, he's a bit of a beast, a bit of a winger. Looks like he kind of plays all over the place. Yeah, he's playing in the center of the park, the right side, center, right side, center, up top. So they use him all over, Tomasz Pienko. They've also got another key player, Boletsa, this Ukrainian, who looks like he's, yeah, very similar, kind of probably just plays all over the place for them too. Um, stats. How come I can't see his form? Oh, because I'd have to scout him or shortlist him because he doesn't play for the national team, but looks like he's doing pretty good. Five goals, six assists. So it's going to be a tough game for us. I don't know if we'll really be able to continue on in the FA Cup past this round. We've already exceeded expectations, though, and beat one Premier League team, so We'll see how it goes. I'm hopeful. We're playing a cautious system. Looks like Pienko in the middle. Okay, so team selection here. Teams are warming up. Yeah, let's always mark Pienko. I like that idea. We're on a good run. Let's keep that going, eh? No, let's don't let our good streak come to an end here keep going and they're pissed off that's what you love to see let's point a finger at them don't let it end here they love that that's a great start oh well we'll see how it goes we know what they're all about they're in the hot greens we're coming out of the harry potter wall onto the field game on tragic in the midfield through Haresh. Back to Magdiak. Robel up to Haresh. Tries to play Musialik. Can't find him though. Pizarchuk back to Robel. And the end of the highlight. All right, we haven't gone down early, so that's all right. See how this highlight goes and then encourage the team. We lose it in the attacking third, but it's back through Pizarchuk. Tragic. Or Giniac. Serpina tries the cross, can't find it. Back through Serpina, wearing the captain's armband today. Magziak. I'm going to say his name different every single time he gets the ball. Mag de Ziak. Robel. And we're just playing around with the ball here, all us. Mag de Ziak. Serpina. Can he send somebody down the line? Takes the dribble himself, finds Warzhiniak. Plays it back, Marchevka's in a good spot. Tries the turn, takes one right at Birich. Wait till the corner comes in, then we'll encourage the team. It's a good start for us. I'll take that start. Serpina with the inswinger. Haresh can't get to it. Back to Musialik. Serpina tries it again. Marchevka's there. Decides not to jump, though. Warzhiniak with the tackle, and we hold possession.
Looking all right so far. A couple shots. We don't have all the possession in the world, but we're looking okay. Trachik finds Warzhiniak, cuts inside on his right, takes the shot, it's in! one nothing. Schleza with the lead over Zagwebia Lubin. Good stuff so far. Warzhiniak showing what he can do. The center back there might have unsighted his own goalkeeper. Couldn't keep that one out of the back of the net. And we've got an early lead. Warzhiniak takes it away from him. And we patiently try to build out of the back. Serpina loses it, gets it right back though. Magdziak, Robel. Up to Musialik. It's got Pizarchuk, overlapping run. Ole is coming out from the crowd already. Robel, good turn there. Gets it on Musialik. Finds a pass to Trachik. Rolls through to Warzhiniak. Takes the shot directly at Biric. Biric makes the save. But we are looking comfortable in possession. Robel. And the in swinger from the left. Can't find the near post. And we reset. Radajicic finds Aqua. Plays to Radajicic in the box. He's got a man, but Serpina's there. Important interception. Not clear of the danger yet, though. Header is down and wide. Thirty minutes. And we've looked pretty solid so far. Bula looks like he got in trouble there for a tackle. We've got a free kick opportunity. See if Robo puts this one in the box. With numbers. Marchevka falls to Musialik, hits one! And it deflected off somebody. Was that an own goal? It was an own goal off Tomasz Pienko and Schleza with the 2-0 lead. Marchevka gets there. Musialik takes the hit. It's off the back of Pienko. Own goal. Now can Schleza hold on to this lead? Ravel's in a good position. Cuts inside. It's off the inside of the post, but somehow stays out. We'll go ahead and trap outside so they don't just walk right into the net like they did last time. Bula, Aqua, Zagwebia tried to build and grab a goal to pull one back before halftime. Rovels out wide, Bula finds the cross in, Pienko's there, misses the header, Nowak decided not to come out for that one, and he is lucky that he wasn't made to pay. And we go into halftime, leading 2 0. They have five shots, but none on target. Trachik's playing well, or Zhiniak, obviously, doing well with the goal. I'm going to say you're doing brilliantly. I don't know if I want to make any changes. I think Haresh will come out probably for Chelinsky here. In the next few minutes, and then March, we might just swap out the strikers. We might even drop Warzhiniak back in to an inverted winger. Try and close this thing out a little bit. We beat the third best team in the Premier League. Can we beat the second at home? Bohar. Back to Bula. And Yach. Yach. Radajicic is Serpina with the defensive header away. Good stuff. Around the league, Slosk is tied. Pienko with the corner. Header up. Kludka back to Pienko, finds Kludka in a good spot. 
Congested box, though. Back to Pienko. Takes a shot. It's deflected wide. Looks like he was offside, though. Wants to work the ball in the box? Yeah, I'll change out our strikers, and then we'll try and work the ball in the box. We're going to make a double change here. Chelinski's coming in. Wojciechowski. Work the ball in the box. We can... Slow the pace down just a little bit. Here we go. Make me proud. Serpina lifts one in. Haresh. They're just not doing anything out there. Orgeniak should collect this, though. We should maintain possession. Through Serpina. Takes down the left wing. Cross in. And Birich is there to collect. Lumps it downfield. Colossa heads it forward. Bula looking for help. Kudka plays it out wide. Radajicic. Aqua now in the mid in the midfield. Kudka. There's just no space for Zagwebi to Lubin to work anything here. They need to work sideline to sideline, open up some space. Bula's in a good position though. Takes the shot, it's over the crossbar. We make a couple changes. Our midfield isn't too happy though, about something. Musialik loses it to Capozo. Mraz takes down the left wing. Um, Pizarchuk's in a bad position. Bohar takes the shot. And that one is wide. Pizarchuk let him cut inside there a little bit too easily. We might get rid of this. And we might drop that. And we're going to drop our lines just a little bit. Bonacostrava's losing to Petr Kavica. We're still up 2-0, though. You can go ahead and press Capozo. Confirm that change. I don't know why you don't automatically do it. I hate when it does that. 84th minute. Robel is complacent. We're going to bring in Kalinski. We're also going to bring in... We're going to bring in Warana. Serpina's not playing great. We're going to do this. Bring in Warana. We're going to go fullback support. We're going to go fullback support. We're just going to go defensive. A little bit of time wasting. And we can make one more sub late. Corner to us, 88th minute. Musialik drives inside. Pizarchuk is there. Crosses to Warzhiniak. Header. Oh, it's off the post. It was almost three. For Schleza looking to close this game out. Will that come back to haunt him? Pienko driving forward. He's fouled. Let's fire the boys up. Mraz is going to take the free kick. And Nowak is there, gets across the goal very nicely. Just a couple minutes left. We're going to make one more save here. We'll bring on Gabriel Alfonso. And we are going to try and close this thing out. Banakostrava goes out. Have we done it? Wojciechowski driving forward. It's 2-0. Tries to play it back, but loses it. Pienko plays Mraz. They need to get numbers forward here. They need two goals, and they don't have enough time to do it. We've beaten Zagwebi Lubin. We get our second big scalp, and we've beaten back-to-back -back Premier League teams. See, around the FA Cup, Slosk gets through. Gornik Zabrze gets through. Blushin. Bonico Strava goes out. Polkovica, I think that's a second division side. Rook gets through Piasklavica on penalties. And Trinek 
gets through as well. Unlikely victory, we get through. 2K for the playing fee. We'll worry about the press conference later. But if we look at the FA Cup, boom, we just got through the fourth round. We're through to the quarterfinals. The draw is tomorrow. Here, I'll go ahead. We'll get the draw for you. We'll just send the assistant on this one. I don't care about that. Hopefully, we can avoid a Premier League team, make it to the semis, get some money. Let's go ahead and knock this draw out. Gornik Polkovica. Yeah, they're a second division side. That'd be a great draw. There's two, four second division sides and four Premier League teams in the quarterfinals. Lushin, I'd take that. They get Rook Hortsov. We get a home game again, though. And it's against another Premier League team, Trinek. All the second division sides playing against all the Premier League sides. I think Trinek is, yeah, bottom of the table. So that's awesome. That game is going to be February 14th when we get back. That's our first game back after our winter break. And we will get some money eventually when we go out. We will get at least 80k now. If we made it to the semifinal, we'd get at least 100k. And then we're talking about some decent money and maybe even qualifying for the for Europe next year. If we can keep pushing this FA Cup run. But we've gotten two scalps. We've taken out Zagwebi Lubin and was it Piasklavica? No, Mjij. Who right now is sixth, but that's some good stuff. So next time we're going to play on a little bit. We'll get down. We'll probably come back for the FA Cup after the winter break. And then we've got the two friendly games, which aren't till about March, I think. So these games and then the draw might be an episode. But for right now, it's going to be the FA Cup quarterfinal. And then maybe the Polonia of Bitsum, too. Maybe we'll do a twofer. But thanks for hanging out in Silesia. We'll be back next time. Things are going pretty well, I'd say. 